Hi, I'm Joe Amara, Deputy Fire Chief for the Leesburg Fire Department. As the coronavirus pandemic progresses, our supply of N95 masks is rapidly decreasing. We use these N95 masks to protect our emergency responders from being infected and potentially infecting other people. In order to prepare for a scenario where we no longer have N95 masks available, we have identified an alternative plan. Our plan for when we exhaust our supply of N95 masks is to use our self-contained breathing apparatus to protect our responders from the virus. These are the air packs that we use during structural firefighting. The reason we are sharing this information with you is to just inform you of what to expect should you encounter our responders on an emergency call where COVID-19 is suspected. We don't want you to be alarmed, we want you to be informed. The following scenario illustrates how we will respond moving forward once we reach critical levels of N95 masks. <coughs> Fire department. <coughs> Hi ma'am, did you call 911? <coughs> yes. My name's Ed, I'm a firefighter paramedic with the City of Leesburg Fire Department. Yes. Can you tell me why you called 911 today? I'm sick, Ed, my chest, I have a fever. Okay, have I you traveled breathe. outside the country in the last 14 days? I went to China. You went to China, okay. I'm gonna hand my mask to my partner here. He's gonna approach you with a self-contained breathing apparatus okay. and continue the assessment. Yes. <coughs> okay, ma'am, I'm gonna put this mask on your face, okay? Yes. <clears throat> you ready? Mm -hmm. As you can see by the scenario, our approach to treating patients exhibited COVID-19 symptoms has changed. We may look a little intimidating with our air packs on, and you may hear some sounds from our air packs that you might not ordinarily hear. The benefit of using our air packs is that they provide the highest level of respiratory protection possible. Another benefit of using our air packs is that we will minimize our use of the already low supply of N95 masks. This scenario is for illustrative purposes only. Depending upon our assessment, the responders might be wearing additional protective equipment such as gowns, goggles, etc. Here are some things that you, as a patient, can do if you call 911 for symptoms related to COVID-19. We know that many of you will not have masks, but if you do, Go ahead and put it on before responders arrive. Additionally, if you're able to wait outside until help arrives, please do so. If our responders do not have to enter a potentially contaminated home or business, that's best for all of us. Thank you very much for your time. Together, with your help, we can get through these very challenging times.